Hola estudiantes, bienvenidos. Hoy en esta lección van a aprender un nuevo tenso en el pasado que se llama el imperfecto. So in today's lesson, you're going to learn a new past tense that's called the imperfect. So remember in previous in a previous lesson you learned the preterite and you memorized the rules for using the preterite. You know, actions that are completed in a specific time frame. So now you're going to learn rules for using the imperfect, a whole new set of rules. But the good thing is the, the imperfect only has uh, two different conjugations, the AR and the ER and IR. Uh, ER and IR verbs are the same conjugation, so really you're just learning two verb conjugations. And it's a very uh, easy conjugation to memorize. Also, there's only three irregular verbs in the imperfect, which is wonderful, right? Because the preterite had a lot. All right, so let me give you some rules for when you're going to use the imperfect. You're going to use it with um, you're going to use it with the habitual past actions, like things you always used to do, or things that you never used to do. So repetitive things like um, I could say, I always used to play the piano. Siempre tocaba el piano. Or we could say, you never drank milk. Uh, nunca bebías leche. Okay, so things you always used to do or things you never used to do, habitual past actions. You can also um, use it with um, actions that are uh, in progress still in the past or incomplete past actions. So, for example, um, if I say I was walking down the street, okay, I was walking. The was walking is incomplete. It's still happening in the past. It hasn't finished. Okay, so when you have a was or a were plus the verb with the ing ending, you know that that's an incomplete past action. So that's also, you also have this tense in, in English, the imperfect tense. All right, then also you're going to use the imperfect with age to express age in the past. Remember, you always use the verb tener with age. So if you say she was uh, nine years old or he was nine years old, tenía nueve años. All right, also use the imperfect with um, with um, time. There we go. Uh, <laughs> so it has to be the exact time. Like it was 10 o'clock at night. Eran las 10 de la noche. Bueno. And also there's expressions and words that you can uh, use to indicate uh, the imperfect past tense, you know, and we'll, and we'll get to those at, at the end also. Okay, so first let's go over the conjugations. So uh, again, we'll start with the AR ending verbs. And just like you always do when you conjugate, when you make a verb agree with the subject, you take off the ending that, that, that it is in its infinitive form. So uh, let's take the verb lavar. So lavar is to wash. Take off that AR ending. You have your stem, lab. So for the yo form, you're going to have an aba ending. The air verbs have aba endings, and then of course you conjugate it according to the subject. So for the yo form, aba ending, add it to the stem, lavaba, lavaba. So that's I used to wash or I washed. The two form is going to be abas ending. So lavabas, you used to wash or you washed. And the usted de ella form is going to have the same ending as the yo form. So you're going to maybe use a pronoun, perhaps, if you need to, to tell who the subject is. So aba ending. So la baba, that could be you formal, he or she used to wash or washed. The nosotros form has abamos ending. So la babamos is we used to wash or we washed. The vosotros form has abais ending. So la babais is you all in Spain, informal, used to wash or washed. And then the ustedes ellos ellas form, aban is the ending. So 
add that to the stem, lavaban. You all, or they washed or used to wash. Bien. Uh, let's do another AR ending verb just for fun because it sounds so funny. It sounds good when you when you conjugate trabajar in the imperfect. So trabajar, take off that AR ending and you have trabaj the stem. So the yo form is trabajaba. Trabajaba, I used to work or I worked. The two form trabajabas. Trabajabas, you worked or you used to work. Trabajaba. You formal he or she used to work or they or worked. The nosotros form trabajábamos. Trabajábamos. We used to work or we worked. The vosotros form trabajabais. Trabajabais. You all used to work. And then the ustedes, ellos, ellas form trabajaban. Trabajaban. You all or they worked. It's a fun one. All right, now let's do the ER and IR verb endings. Uh, we'll do an ER one and then an IR one because they have the same exact endings of each other. So they're all going to have an IA endings. Uh, so let's take the verb uh, correr, correr to run. Take off the ER and you're going to add IA ending for the yo form. So yo corría, I used to run or I ran. The two form, corrías, is that ias ending, so corrías, you used to run or you ran. You said el ella form, again, just like the nosotros, or just like the yo form, ia ending. So corría is you formal, he or she used to run or ran. The nosotros form is íamos ending, so corríamos is we used to run or we ran. The vosotros form Yais, yais, so corriai, corriais is uh, you all ran. And then the ustedes, ellos, ellas form is ian ending, so corrian is you all or they ran. All right, let's do a, an IR verb. Uh, how about the verb salir, which is to leave or to go out? So in the yo form, just like the er ending, ia ending, so salia. Salia, I used to go out or I went out. The two form has the ias ending, so salias. Salias, you all, you went out or you used to go out. You said the leia form, ia ending. Um, so salia, you formal he or she used to go out or went out. The nosotros form with the iamos ending, saliamos, we used to go out or we went out. The vosotros form, iais. So saliais, you all went out. And then the ustedes, ellos, ellas form has the ian ending. So salian is you all or they went out or used to go out. All right, so those are the regular AR, ER, and IR verb endings for the imperfect tense. Now let's look at the three irregular verbs. So the three irregular verbs in the imperfect are ser, to be, ir, to go, and ver, to see. And um, so you'll just have to, to memorize these because they are irregular. So for, uh, let's start with ser. For the yo form will be era. Era. So that's I was. The two form, eras. Eras, you were. You said el ella form is the same as the yo form. So era. You or he or she was or were. The nosotros form, éramos. Éramos, we were. The vosotros form, erais. Erais, you all were. And the ustedes, ellos, ellas form, eran. Eran, you all or they were. All right. Now let's, uh, let's conjugate the verb ir is to go. So, uh, iba in the yo form, iba is I went, the two form, ibas, ibas, you went. You said the ella form, again, just like the yo form is iba, so you formal he or she went. The nosotros form, ibamos, ibamos, we went. The vosotros form, ibais, ibais, you all went. 
And de ustedes, ellos, ellas, form, iban. Iban, you all, or they went. Bien. And then the last regular one is ver, to see. So the yo form, veía. Veía, as I saw. The two form, veías. Veías, you saw. And again, the usted el ella form is the same as the yo form. So veía, veía. And the nosotros form, veíamos. Veíamos, we saw. The vosotros form, veíais, veíais, you all saw. And the ustedes, ellos, ellas form, veían, veían. Muy bien. All right, let me give you some phrases uh, for when you're going to use the imperfect to, to show that it's in, in the imperfect. So phrases like uh, siempre, which is always, that indicates the imperfect, something you always did. Nunca, again, something you, like you never did. I gave you that example in the beginning. Nunca, never. Um, todos los días. Todos los días, every day. Todos, uh, todos los años, every year. Or you could also use cada, like cada día, every day. Cada año, cada mes, every month. Todos los meses, either one. Um, en general, in general, in general, or por lo general, in general. Uh, what else? Uh, todos, you could use days of the week. Uh, todos los viernes, every uh, every Friday, or you could use the seasons, like todos los veranos, every summer. All right, just phrases that indicate uh, you, habituality, you know, th repetitiveness, things that you always did or never did. So that's the imperfect. All right. So that's in that's the end of this lesson. Nos uh, nos veramos muy pronto. We'll see each other very soon. Hasta la próxima. Ciao.